Construct a quadrilateral ABCD given that BC 4.5 cm, AD 5.5 cm, CD 5 cm, the diagonal AC is equal to 5.5 cm and diagonal BD is equal to 7 cm. From the question you can make out that uh, two diagonals measurement given to you and three sides are also given. So let's see how you are going to construct it. Well, as usual, first we will draw the line segment. Sorry, first we will draw the rough sketch of the given quadrilateral and uh, here I am drawing it for you just a rough sketch of it okay so name it now the diagonals I am drawing so here we are we have the quadrilateral given in the example A B C D okay what's given to you BC is given to you 4.5 centimeter then DC is or CD we can call it DC or CD 5 centimeter AC which is a diagonal it's 5.5 centimeter and BD is 7 centimeter BD this is BD 7 centimeter AC it's 5.5 centimeter two sides and the fifth uh, third side is AD and AD is again 5.5 centimeter we have measurement of three sides AD DC and CB or BC and the two diagonals BD and AC now what will you do out of the two diagonals you take a measurement of any one diagonal with the help of scale you draw the diagonal let's take AC okay you can take AC or you can take BD any one you can take so let's take AC okay I'm taking AC and what is AC it's 5.5 centimeter from 0 we start okay from 0 we will start and here we go 5.5 and here we end this is your a c first we will go for the two sides which are given out of the three you select any two sides so if we are taking AC then which two sides form triangle with it DC and DA okay so one time you will take A as a center and radius 5.5 cut an arc okay and then taking C as a center and CD remember you have taken AD length then you should go for CD rather than going for CB okay CD the arc which we have first arc which we are going to cut it's this side of the line segment so obviously you will take that length which goes on the same side of that particular arc rather than going for the arc on the other side 
okay let's begin without wasting time okay if i select first a then what i am going to do i am going to take length ad 5.5 as radius and uh, so here we go 5.5 i am placing the pointer of the compass at 0 and i'll drag the pencil lid till 5.5 here we have here we go 5.5 this is how we get 5.5 now place it on a and cut an arc now remember if ad is 5.5 then when you are going to take this cd when you are going to take cd it's going to be 5 so you will cut the arc in such a way that it should be little nearer to c because this distance is smaller than ad cd distance is smaller than ad okay otherwise if you keep the arc here then cd may not reach here and the intersection point intersecting point you will not get okay it would be somewhat like this if i cut an arc so high if i leave it over here because we know the distance this is 5.5 then 5 will be somewhere over here hmm? but instead of going down if i put it over here then 5 point if i take cd which is 5 centimeter hmm, here we have i have taken it now 5 is it intersecting no so we will not leave the arc over here itself we will little bit take extend it um, towards downwards towards c so that we get the intersecting point okay i will do it again i have a light impression of the arc which i had already drawn previously and i have erased it so i am just stretching it nothing else i am doing okay so i have got the intersecting point here we go we join it a and let's name it d okay a d 5.5 c d 5 centimeters we are naming the intersecting point as d join it so i'm joining it now this is c d okay c d now we are going to take this part upper part we have already drawn a d c we have constructed now we'll go for c b a or you can say a c b or a b c for that we have to take this length taking c as a center and radius 4.5 i'm going to draw an arc of a circle and towards the lower part we will go we'll go this side this is the upper part now the lower part and here i go i'm extending the arc a long arc i'm drawing because i know bd is 7 centimeter and somewhere here is going to intersect so little bit of judgment you have to do looking at the measurement you have to you should get the idea what's what will be the structure now this is the first arc we have uh, drawn now we will take this length b d from d we are going to uh, taking d as a center and length 7 centimeter we are going to draw an arc which is going to intersect this arc 
and that intersecting point we are going to call it B. Let us see. Let me take first 7 centimeter as we have been taking normally in all the cases while we were drawing the sides of the given measure here got it 7 centimeter see that you do not move it once you have taken the measurement you do not oh my judgment was wrong it comes somewhere over here you can see I had taken a wrong judgment and you can see the arc is arc from D is somewhere over here again I have to extend this arc for that again I have to take 4.5 and cut an arc so I have taken 4.5 and from C I have taken the distance of 4 point length of 4.5 and extended the arc such that both the arcs intersect each other. So we have finally got the intersecting point and we are naming it B. Now we are going to join this two points A with B and then C with B. So, this is the quadrilateral and BD diagonal which is 7 centimeter. And this was AC was 5.5 AD 5.5 DC 5 and BC 4.5 centimeter. Is it clear to you? What did I do? First, I had drawn the rough sketch of the given quadrilateral, marked the measurements, written the measurements of the three sides and the two diagonals take any one diagonal now here we have taken AC so you can see here I have taken AC with the help of scale 5.5 drawing a line segment AC of 5.5 centimeter length okay and uh, then I would I have taken this part of the quadrilateral that is ADC so, taking A as a center and length 5.5 centimeter, I have cut an arc, okay. Then, I went to the other side of the line segment that is C, took this measurement 5 centimeter, then only I will get the intersecting point at D. So, instead of going for, for 4.5, I have gone for 5 centimeter. So, here it is both the arcs intersect at D. So, I have got this part of the quadrilateral. Now, we have to go for the lower part of this diagonal AC. So, third side we have 4.5 centimeter and C is the center. So, taking C as a center and 4.5 centimeter, just cut an arc like this. And then, now, Unlike the previous quadrilateral, previous construction, here you have to take this diagonal BD which is 7 centimeter. So, from D, taking D as a center and distance 7 centimeter, I will cut an arc like this and so the intersecting point will be B, join AB, BC and finally the diagonal. So, here we come to the end of second type of constructing a quadrilateral 
where three sides and two diagonals are given to you. Exercise 4.2 is based on the explanation where quadrilaterals you have to draw of which three sides are given and two diagonals are given and uh, here you can see third one is rhombus bend how will you construct this okay well children exercise in exercise 4.2 the third one constructing rhombus you may find to be little difficult sorry rhombus and what is the name of it b e n d bend okay and uh, what all dimensions are given to you the sides are not given only the diagonals are given bn is equal to 5.6 cm and de is given to you 6.5 now it's your choice which diagonal you are going to plot first or draw first but before we go for the fair construction first we will draw rhombus a rough sketch of the given rhombus b e n d we have bn 5.6 and de we have 6.5 cm okay now either you can go for de diagonal or you can go for bn diagonal now let me take de see de measurement is 6.5 so here i go with de 6.5 measurement from 0 this is 6.5 write it name it d e that is 6.5 cm meter now what you are going to do is you are going to cut an arc because we know that diagonals of rhombus are perpendicular to each other okay so that's the thing we are going to do we are going to draw the perpendicular line passing through de and for that what we will do is we will take measurement of de more than half roughly you take this much and then cut an arc from e on one side and then on the other side of de c this is the way i am going to cut an arc ye coverage chhetra se bahar nikal ja raha hai but then also i am trying to see this is one arc and the other arc towards the other side of de then with the same measurement but we are only changing the center now we are going to take d as a center and cut an arc on one side and then on the other side of the diagonal de is it clear what did i do again i would like to explain it 
I am drawing a perpendicular line passing through ED and for that what will I do because we know the property of rhombus the diagonals are perpendicular to each other one diagonal I have already drawn, drawn that is ED 6.5 centimeter sides are not given so now what we are going to do is we are going to draw the perpendicular line segment or line and for that what we need is we will take length more than half of ED okay and then taking E as a center cut an arc on one side that is upper part of ED and then towards the lower part of ED dono side se ek bar E ko center bana do fir dusre bar D ko center banao aur fir aapko ye mil jayega two intersecting points now we will join it either you join now friends as we all know that and I have been telling you that as per the property of rhombus the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degree they are perpendicular to each other and even they divide the diagonals into two equal half okay so when you can see that we have taken DE as 6.5 here you can see DE diagonal we have taken 6.5 and if you find out the half of it you will get exactly if I take the this intersecting point as O then OE will be equal to OD. Now our point is to take this BN equal to 5.6 if I measure this line segment it won't be 5.6 okay it won't be 5.6 I have to take 5.6 but before that we have to decide what will be half of 5.6 5.6 divided by 2 will give you 2. 8 centimeter and that is what we are going to take from O that is from this point O n we will take 2.8 and same way from O to B we will take 2.8. So now taking radius 2.8 and center O we will draw a circle or arc of a circle ok now I am ready with 2.8 measurement let us draw it taking O as a center and length 2.8 this one 2.8 why because ED is bisecting BN and bisection means two equal halves and uh, the length of BN is BN is 5.6 so I have divided by 2 to get two equal parts of it it is 2.8 so now I can draw the point from where I have to join this is 2.8 and I am cutting an arc and this intersecting point I will name it N and similarly I am going to cut an arc with the same radius on the other half part of the line segment got it now now I am going to join this point before that I will name it B this intersecting point as B and if I show you you can see this BN is 
5.8 okay now join it sorry it's 5.6 it's not 5.8 it's 5.6 see b in it is 5.6 and we have got 5.6 over here okay let's join the points this is bd join be then we join now we will join these two points okay here is n n with d and same way n with e so we have b e n d the required quadrilateral it's a rhombus with two diagonals b n equal to 5.6 d e is equal to 6.5 i would like to repeat the whole procedure what will you do you take any of the either of the diagonal as the base so we took d e 6.5 here with the scale i drew the line segment of measurement 6.5 then i took the perpendicular perpendicular bisector by just taking more than half measurement half of 6.5 more than half of 6.5 and had cut an arc on both the sides one time taking e as a center and next time d as a center and the intersecting points i had joined it but i didn't name bn that time only to get the perpendicular bisector of ed this arcs were cut and the intersecting points of the arcs gave us the perpendic perpendicular bisector of ed now turn of getting bn and what is bn it is 5.6 dividing 5.6 by 2 why did we divide because ed is bisector of or bisecting bn and if it bisects then 5.6 has to be divided by 2 we got 2.8 now from this point o we will take 2.8 cm and that cuts the line segment above ed at n similarly towards the downwards 2.8 and that intersecting point we are taking as b and then what will you do is you will connect these four points be en nd and db which gives you the required rhombus this is the construction of that quadrilateral where three sides and two diagonals are given but rhombus is the exceptional case in the exercise 4.2 where only two diagonals are given so i felt i should explain you and now we will move on to the third construction where two adjacent sides and three angles are known that is two adjacent sides and three angles will be given and you have to draw that or you have to construct that quadrilateral